Starting right off here, long story short, I just got back from a full week of vacation where I ate whatever I wanted, which turned out to be everything and anything and a lot of junk food. So to get right back on track, I have decided to spend the next week consuming only chicken breast, rice, and broccoli in an effort to just shed this extra water weight and hopefully a little bit of fat too. So I will be documenting the process. We'll see what it does to my mood, athletic performance, and most importantly, weight and body composition. So we're gonna head on over to the store and then I will catch you guys for meal one. Okay, so we got back from the store to quickly go over everything that we got here. Um, got some ground chicken breast, regular just chicken breast. Um, we've got brown rice and white rice, and then a huge bag of broccoli. So I think I'm gonna do ground chicken tonight and then save the leftover ground chicken for lunches the next two days. And then I'm also gonna bake the chicken at the same time for dinner the next two days and go ahead and cook all the rice I'm gonna need um, for today and then the following two days as well as the broccoli just to make it super easy. So I'm kinda gonna do meal prep-ish style so I can just pull it out of the fridge and not think about it. That way hopefully I won't be like missing uh, more exciting foods. So. broccoli oh the ground chicken white rice brown rice and then the other chickens cooking up there mmm that beef's mine right there you know I'm jealous you got ground chicken we got ground chicken a little bit of taco seasoning on there um, so I'm gonna have about a pound of ground chicken tonight with a cup of rice uh, Usually I'll spread this out so I'll have a lunch and a dinner the next coming week. Um, but tonight, like I said, my stomach was just full from all the junk we ate. So um, I'm going to have it all right now. Um, super plain, but honestly, I'm looking forward to it because uh, we've just been overstimulated with the sweets and uh, like pizza, burgers and all that. So this is going to be really nice to get back to a healthy diet. Um, I'm really excited for it actually. So I've got this. I'm going to put some broccoli on there with just a little bit of Celtic sea salt. Um, and that'll be the meal. Whew, that's a lot of broccoli. Oh, it smells like a fart. Oh man, that's the one I'm looking forward to the least. I love vegetables, but I do not really enjoy broccoli that much. So I'd much rather eat like, even like cabbage or kale or anything else besides broccoli. Oh, but you gotta do what you gotta do. It's a Hollywood secret for a reason, man. Is there something special about the broccoli? Probably not, but we'll find out. Some sea salt for flavor. Now I'll take a first bite here. It's actually really good. Good for now. Like, yeah, for now. Like I said, it's plain, but that's what my body needs right now. So I'm gonna go enjoy this and um, I'll check in with you guys when I package everything up for the next two days. I have two of these, so this is just one plate, but I'm gonna have two. Oh boy, <laughs> I'd rather be fat. <laughs> okay, so we have uh, food for the next two days. Um, so these are gonna be lunches. This is ground chicken, brown rice, and broccoli. And then this is uh, diced up just chicken breasts like this one here with uh, brown rice and broccoli. Then I had some extra chicken, so I figure if I get really hungry or something, for some reason, I could just eat that. Guys, okay, so day two here, just got home from work. Um, I'm starting to get hungry, but I'm not super, super, super hungry at the moment. So I'm gonna head to the gym, hit a leg workout now, and then we'll come back for the first meal of the day, which will be lunch, but I'll probably be eating it around like 6 or 7 p.m. Then we're gonna rest a little bit, watch TV or something, and then probably have the last meal, which is dinner around 8 or 9 p.m. Okay, just got back from the gym, and now I really am hungry. So I'm gonna start with meal one right now. All right, here we go. So this is uh, the pre-packed meal that I made yesterday. Got ground chicken, broccoli, and brown rice. It's not the best meal in the world, but definitely not sick of it yet. So no complaints so far. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this up while I uh, do my mobility for the night. I put a little sriracha on this, but I figure the calories are negligible, so who really cares? 
first part of the meal done. Now we're gonna move on to the second. Dinner, can't see it, but there's a lot of chicken under there. Day three here, just got home from work a little bit earlier than expected, so I'm gonna head to the gym with Lucas, do a little bit of cardio, and then we'll be back for meal one. Just got back from the gym and the store. Um, I'm really hungry, but honestly, chicken, rice, and broccoli does not sound very good. Um, to be completely transparent, last night I was having some like digestive uh, issues and kind of like discomfort after eating it. I don't know if it was because I ate it cold or if it's just the broccoli in general, um, but I'm feeling fine now, so we're gonna push through um, and eat this first meal here. Right, so I heated the meal up this time. Hopefully that helps with the digestion issues that I was having yesterday. I'm gonna put a little of this uh, sriracha sauce on it too for flavor. Gonna enjoy this meal while I do some more work on my computer. It's starting to become a struggle here, guys. Whew, I don't want to just be a complainer because this is like good organic food that I have access to, but man, it's starting to wear me down. I'm pretty sick of it. Dinner time! <laughs> getting real sick of this. It is day four here. Um, I'm really getting hungry. It's uh, about 1.30 in the afternoon. Um, normally I push my food a little bit later than this, but today I think I'm gonna have a pre-workout meal. Um, I have some leftover chicken and rice that I wasn't able to finish the second day and I saved it, so I'm gonna be eating that. Um, but honestly, I'm gonna leave off the broccoli for now. Um, I've been having really bad indigestion, like heartburn symptoms after I eat. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's from the broccoli because I eat chicken and rice all the time with no problem. Um, and even though I love vegetables, I almost never eat broccoli just because I really don't care for it too much. Um, and it's getting worse, the indigestion every single day uh, so far on this experiment. And I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's from the broccoli. So I'm gonna try a plain just chicken and rice meal that I have left over before the workout hopefully that'll settle okay on my stomach um and then i'll see you guys for dinner oh boy using the microwave gotta do it oh man I know. I know i never use the microwave that's why it's so clean <laughs> <laughs> we got the meal here pretty workout meal probably a serving of brown rice and a couple ounces of chicken and sriracha. This is saving my life right here. This sriracha, I love this stuff. I'm gonna eat this on the go. Dude, my mouth is literally watering for that. I could eat like three of those steaks right now. Fried in butter. Too bad, oh. only chicken. I know, <laughs> <laughs> day four. Okay, just got back from the store. I'm planning on having ground chicken breast again with some sriracha on it and white rice today uh, for dinner just to switch things up a little bit. And I'm gonna make it fresh instead of eating it out of uh, containers from the fridge. So that's definitely gonna be a lot more palatable. And I have to come clean. I cannot eat broccoli again right now. I just can't. Like the stomach pain and the heartburn is just getting out of control. So for my physical well-being, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up the vegetable to kale today instead. Um, so I'll show you guys that. I'm just gonna make a big salad out of uh, kale um, with garlic salt and lemon juice on it. So calorie wise, won't be a whole lot different. I just, like I cannot eat broccoli again. What'd you say about broccoli? Broccoli is, it's, uh, it's terrible. Dinner today, I have a huge heaping plate of white rice and ground chicken with harissa sauce, which is basically like a calorie, uh, calorie free or minimal calorie pepper sauce. Um, and then the chopped kale with garlic salt and lemon. So could not be more excited for this. I'm so happy not to be eating broccoli. Day five. So first meal, I'm gonna have some leftover ground chicken and white rice. And then later, I'm gonna have uh, cut up chicken and brown rice. We have dinner here, white rice and diced up chicken breast. And then I still couldn't do broccoli today, so we have a coleslaw salad here with apple cider vinegar and garlic salt. Here we are, day six, and man, I am so happy to be almost at the end of this experiment. 
Um, so basically, just got done with work. Um, I was planning to do a leg workout at the gym, um, but I decided to just do a home workout here, um, more calisthenic based because my joints are feeling a little bit achy. I'm not sure if that's from the uh, reduction in dietary fat or if it's just random, um, but definitely the knees and hips and everything is feeling pretty creaky. So instead of loading up a bunch of weight at the gym, decided I'll do some more body weight focused uh, movements here and hopefully that'll just feel better. Um, kind of get uh, a good workout, a good burn, but more reps, less weight basically. So after this, I'll have my post-workout meal, chicken, rice, and back on that broccoli grind for today. I'm gonna try and just send out the rest of the experiment here, sticking to it uh, as accurately as possible. I definitely do think the broccoli was the culprit for the heartburn and other like stomach pain though, because the last two days when I've had kale and cabbage instead, I felt uh, exponentially better, but honestly, I'm just excited to wrap up this experiment here. I'm excited to add more variety into my diet. Um, really looking forward to maybe some beef and potatoes or something like that for the first meal after this experiment is over. But enough chit chat for now. I'm gonna get this leg workout done um, and then I will see you guys for the post workout meal. Time to get that post-workout meal. Here we go again. We've got chicken, rice, and broccoli. You've guessed it. Day seven here, getting a late start on the filming because, man, I'm busted. I gotta tell the truth. So I woke up today, this morning, hungry, extremely hungry, but I did not want at all chicken, rice, and broccoli. So made a quick little trip to the store and uh, got a bag of toast. So I ate some toast and lattes for breakfast. Uh, and then I just couldn't hold it together for lunch either. So then lunch we had some uh, just like cottage cheese and vegetables and dip and just whatever like snack food kind of uh, sort of thing after the gym. And now here we are at dinner and still it is not chicken, rice, and broccoli. Far from it. Is It is actually ground beef Mexican food because I need some fat. I need some beef. I need anything but chicken and broccoli. So that's what we're going to have. I'll show you the meal and then we'll still give you the update with the, uh, the full results of the seven days tomorrow. Here is the plate. We have ground beef, white rice, lettuce, onion, cheese, salsa, guacamole, sour cream. I am definitely going to enjoy this. It has been about a week since I wrapped up the uh, seven days challenge of chicken, rice, and broccoli. Uh, well, I guess that turned out to be six days because as you've already seen, the last day I just couldn't take it anymore and ended up having beef. But I wanted to briefly go over the results. So overall, I was about four pounds down from the beginning to the end of the experiment, which keep in mind, part of that is definitely gonna be water weight loss because as I mentioned, we were on vacation the week before eating a lot of food. So even if I just bit, went back to a normal diet with maintenance calories, probably would have lost a couple pounds of water weight from all the junk food anyway. However, I do think that it was more of a crash diet because I just couldn't physically eat that many calories um, because I was getting so sick of just the chicken, rice, and broccoli. So I will say it was a, it was a success in the sense of lowering overall calories and being a, a good diet option. Um, but long term, I definitely wouldn't recommend it for a couple reasons. First of all, Adherence was probably my number one complaint. It was really uh, depressing and just difficult to stick to those three foods alone. 
Um, I felt like I was really craving other foods such as healthy fats like olive oil, avocado, grass-fed ground beef. Those sort of things were really missing from my diet. Um, the second reason I wouldn't recommend it for a long-term uh, type of situation is because I think variety is better. So adding in different vegetables, different meats, different carb sources like potatoes or oatmeal or anything else that you might like, fruits, all of these things um, in combination and in moderation are probably the healthiest diet in my opinion. So as long as you're eating a whole foods uh, based diet, which is minimally processed uh, with foods and good variety, try to kind of like eat the rainbow, they say, you know, get things that are a bunch of different colors, not just necessarily green vegetables, but all different kinds of colors of vegetables um, and fruits in your diet too. That is probably going to be the healthiest thing long term uh, for myself and for you as well. So I'm glad I did it. Uh, it did work to kind of cut back to my uh, pre-vacation weight, which was great, but it was it was very difficult to stick to. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. That wraps up the video. Let me know what you want to see more of, what you want to see next.